This is Waves here. In this video, we are going to talk about how to fix or display images properly on Android. This video is a part of the complete series that shows you how to design and code an Android app all the way from Photoshop to Play Store. Search for Slidenote Udemy on Google and open my profile link on Udemy. Notice it has all my courses over here. Before you run away looking at the prices, let me show you a neat little trick. Select the first course over here and notice that there is a coupon running for a few days. Now in addition to what Udemy is offering you, click redeem a coupon here and enter slide nerd as the coupon code and click apply and bam, there you get a nice discount and you can click take a course, complete the login process and the payment gateway and you can see all the videos available. If you remember from our previous video, we added the background image to our app's first screen and it works perfectly on Samsung Galaxy S5 whereas it crashes on Nexus 6P. So if you go to Google and if you type Android display bitmaps efficiently, be sure to read this full lesson and all the 5 articles under it. So the reason for the crash is pretty simple. An image is simply called a bitmap object in Android. Now if you take a look at how much memory it requires, an image of 2592 into 1936 would require 4 bytes per pixel. Now 4 bytes because they need to store red, green, blue and alpha component. Now if you take a look at our image in Android Studio, it is a 1920 by 1080 image and multiply that by 4, you get the amount of RAM that you need to display or load this image in memory. So on Samsung Galaxy S5, while the requirement is being met, on Nexus 6P, the requirement isn't met which is why we get a crash. So one of the ways we can fix the crash is by obviously using the techniques discussed in these articles which is exactly what we don't cover in this video. Because these techniques are long, there is way too much code involved in getting the same thing done. But thanks to some fantastic third party libraries, we can compress or display images efficiently in just four lines. There are four libraries that especially deal with images. So the four libraries happen to be Universal Image Loader by Nostra 13 which has instructions for setting it up. There is Picasso from Square which is very popular if you guys have heard about Android image loading before. And there is Glide from Bumtech, which again is a pretty similar library. And the fourth one is from Facebook itself. It's called Fresco. Other than this, there are several other libraries that keep popping out. But these are the four most famous libraries that people talk about everywhere. Now one way you can find out more about this is by going to Google and typing Picasso versus Glide or any other library for that matter. Now I typed that and I got a nice table here that shows the features of each library along with the differences in each. This feature list may be deprecated or outdated and hence I suggest that you manually take a look. Now let's add the Glide library in this video. The first step is to go to their repository here where they talk about Glide and how to set it up on Android Studio. Now remember that a library like Glide is basically code that a third person has written. You can copy paste their code which is a bad idea because their code changes as they make newer versions. Your job would be to take a particular version of their code and add it to Android Studio. The way you do that is with the help of something called Gradle in Android. Notice here it says use Gradle and it tells you something about dependencies. Now dependencies simply means what libraries does your code need to run. Now if you want to use their features, you're going to need their library. So let's copy this link here and First verify if 3.6.1 is the latest version of Glide or not. Now the way you do that is to go to this site here or you can just go to Google and type Gradle please. Immediately there is this website called gradleplease.appspot.com where you can just type Glide and find out if that is the latest version. Notice it says that Bumtech Glide 361 is the latest version at the time of shooting this video. It's quite possible that by the time you're watching this, they have a different version over here. So I'm going to copy this link here and I'm going to go to Android Studio. Now notice carefully what I do. I go to build.gradle under Gradle scripts. Now there are two files here. We would like to go to the one that says module app. So let's double click on that file and I'm immediately taken inside where I have a lot of stuff going on. 
Notice the section at the bottom called dependencies. This is the list of all the libraries that my project bucket drops currently requires to run. Here, I'm going to paste the glide library. Immediately, we get this message at the top that says Gradle files have changed since the last project sync. So since we added a new dependency, Gradle has detected that we require a new library and is going to attempt to download that library and integrate it for us in Android Studio. So at the right here, you have the option called Sync Now. You can click this option or you can go at the top here where there is another option which is the same one called sync project with gradle files so let's click on that and immediately it says the project sync is in progress if you take a look at what's going on in the bottom area here you will find out that gradle is going to download that library for us and if everything is good we get a message here at the bottom that says gradle build was finished successfully so the library has been integrated in android studio so if you are not sure or wondering at this point how to use this library just scroll down further and take a look at the section that says how do i use glide here notice that they have an on create method here they are taking an image view from xml by using the find view by id method and all they do is say glide dot with where they pass the context which happens to be the activity in this case called the load method pass the url of the image they want to load and then just specify that load it into the image view that's all they do so let's go back and try that in our activity main dot java file so i'm going to go there to activity main and create a method called init background image and it is defined as a private method now inside this method all i have to do first is find our image view image view is contained in activity underscore main dot xml we need to give it an id first which i'll simply do calling it iv underscore background i'm also going to remove the scale type over here and i'm going to remove the source over here because we are going to set both these things in code now so after initializing the image view from xml all i have to do is use the glide library by saying glide dot notice the suggestions over here one of them would be width and notice that it takes an activity a fragment and many other things so i'm going to use the one that takes an activity pass this for the activity because we are inside app compat activity right now then i'm going to say dot load now the load method also takes several different variations notice that there is a string there's a uri there's an integer resource id now this is the one we need because we have the image as r dot drawable dot background so i'm going to say r dot drawable dot background here and then i need to specify where it should be loaded so it's going to be into the image view which we just created in the above step by saying background over here now let's take a look at what happens now this time when you run the app you will notice immediately that the image is being loaded on both nexus 6p and on our samsung galaxy s5 the same issue where the image size is not adequate so we are going to use the scale type center crop here in code the way you do that is with the help of glide itself you can go right here and before you load into the background you can say dot center crop take a look at that we have fit center and i'm sure we must be having other options as well so i'm going to say center crop here and let's run this again and this time when you run bam take a look at that our image is loaded perfectly on both nexus 6p and samsung galaxy s5 so in this video hopefully you guys have understood how to set up glide the code for this video and all the videos is available on github forward slash slide nerd slash bucket drops and don't forget to check the branches because they are made with respect to each video so that you can find code inside it thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day